This song is a Patreon vote winner yeah. and the theme is isolation and Sting has a beautiful, beautiful voice. Epic gong! So this is part of their, um, their second tour once they reunited. Really interesting. Now, this is kind of defined as reggae rock, which you can hear some of the kind of reggae influences in that there's this very straight, it's actually in this moment, especially in Sting's voice, it's very straight sung, no vibrato, um, which gives it this kind of shouty uh, feel. They also um, are really interesting because they all have blonde hair, but their hair all wasn't originally blonde. They had to dye their hair blonde for an advert and thought, you know what, let's keep it. That can be our thing. The breaths are there though. It's all, it's all about these da, 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 these really um, even rhythms over the top of normally what would be in reggae, like the reggae um, beat, but they're obviously putting it over a rock beat, which is kind of interesting. It's a really unusual combination and very, very the police. And um, Sting has such a distinctive voice. I love his voice as he's got older as well, how um, not so much in this recording so far, but he's getting a raspiness to his voice. Um, and he's got so much control. Sometimes it's just, it's these easy high notes. And then sometimes he just kind of slides around, but it takes a lot of control to hit notes dead on like he's doing here um, it's very easy most people habitually slide on to notes because it kind of covers up any inconsistencies and our voice kind of naturally is like well, I'm gonna cover that up but to get that dead on is um it's tricky it requires practice <laughs> Is so happy for a song themed on isolation. <laughs> So I really want to point out his vowels. Bottle is an interesting word, uh, especially maybe maybe Americans more say like bottle. So it is like an ah, um, and he is not American. He's not singing bottle with like an o. He's singing bottle, which is more American in vowels. Um, American vowels sometimes can be very helpful. A lot more, it's a little bit more open, there's a lot more ah, it's a bit more forward place. It's especially helpful for kind of rock vocals. Um, whereas us Brits, especially in England, can be a bit oh, <laughs> around here and the sound is a bit further back and a bit more round, which doesn't always lend itself to rocky vocals. So that's why he's adapting it slightly more towards um, an American uh, 
pronunciation, although I don't think he's thinking of it like that, it's just a singer's pronunciation. That's why often people feel like singers lose their accent when they sing because they end up in this middle ground uh, where they adapt the vowels to create the best sound possible, but it isn't necessarily um, their natural vowel shape. So that's part of the reason anyway that people lose their accents. Lots of battles going on. <laughs> like a battle. How do Americans know the difference between bottles and battles? I just had a thought. I'm gonna go and get a bottle of water. Oh, I'm gonna fight that person in a battle. Is the same? Let me know. Terrible misunderstandings. I don't believe what I saw. A hundred billion battles washed up on the shore. Seems I've been alone and feel it all. A hundred billion cast away. Looking for a home. <laughs> I don't know why this just makes me gently giggle and I think it's just this concept that they're um, castaways on a desert island but the um, they're sending an SOS with a message in a bottle to find love and it seems so like you know obviously the juxtaposition between a castaway situation and sending out I don't know like internet dating essentially bottle dating uh, is is quite funny to me it's a bottle not a battle interestingly also when I think about it that pronunciation is very very common in reggae so there's a little bit of kind of vowel changing to uh, to hint to that reggae style again. So good. What I love is there's no vibrato on that. Ah, dead on, straight, and it makes it sound like he's like, help, like really shouting. Ah, that little scoop up as well. Ah, there's a little note before that, ah, that just gives it a bit of a, a feeling of uh, emotion, I suppose. And he is just so solid. His breath support solid. His placement is solid. What can I say? It's so pitch perfect. <laughs> a classic band, a classic vocalist, and a really fun song. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.